Oh, I'm great. I'm so I'm proud great. of you. Well, thanks. You... I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks. You look beautiful. <laughs> well, you thanks. sing just absolutely. It's just so perfect. Thanks. Now, Thank you very much. Uh, did you do a lot of plays in school? Oh, no. Are you kidding? You didn't? Oh, well, I was in the musicals as a senior. I was Ethel Toffelmeyer, the pianola girl. Well, I think it's because I could play the piano on stage. Really? Yes. But you didn't get cast? No, no leading roles. No. Mm, no interesting. No, no. You know what, Ruthann? No, no. What? Neither was I. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, Ruthann. Funny how things that happen. I was on Broadway in Greece. Here's my I CD. know that. And fabulous, oh. fabulous. Yes. And you have a CD. You might want to hold uh, that up. Yeah. A couple of them. Two. Two CDs. Huh. Well, there are people probably who would want. <laughs> now, there was a great chorus teacher there who was gifted and talented and True. beautiful. True. And she was crying while you sang, I might add, because she was very touched. Well, I'm, I'm glad. And uh, she never cast me either. Uh huh. Maybe, Ruthann, you could run these over. You think? To Fran Roberts as a gift from you and I, the okay. uncastable. Yay! There you go. This is Fran Roberts, our chorus teacher. <laughs> oh, God, you're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you remember Kevin Williams? Absolutely. Your year? Absolutely, he would do the weather on the All on the, the guy wanted to do was the weather. Weather, weather, weather. Since I was six years old, friends Absolutely. with his sister, Lauren, all <laughs> the guy did was the weather. Guess what he does now, Ruthann? Weather. He's the weatherman. Ladies and gentlemen, We're Kevin Williams, the weatherman. <laughs> Delighted to be here. It's Thank very, you. Very nice. To, I have a photo of you in your oh, basement great, with great. your weather maps. Do we have that? <laughs> Lauren and I wanted to play ping pong, but you, with your cumulonimbus clouds. You, uh, you uh, thought I was somewhat deranged, I think. I uh, did. I, I would give uh, imaginary weather reports to an imaginary camera about an imaginary storm. and. I believe you coined the term weather dweeb. Yes, uh, I believe. that was me. I called you Kevin the weather dweeb. I, I'd, and I'd like you to know that that wore off about five or six years ago, but something tells me that uh, that may be making a bit of a comeback. Uh, now tell everyone case. where you do the, the weather. I'm uh, the director of meteorology at uh, WHEC TV in Rochester. In Rochester. In Rochester. Guess where, what? We yes. have a clip. Oh, you do? Yeah, roll the clip well, of Kevin lovely. doing the weather. Why not? Go ahead. Roll West of Rochester, yeah, especially Genesee and Orleans counties, yeah. going to be piling up the snow at three inches an hour at times. Little action on the east side, but it's called double deuces right now in Naples. Wind chill there, running double about deuces. 10 below well, zero. Yeah. The, uh, we, we get a little snow. <laughs> Kevin Williams. It, it's, it snows a little bit in Rochester. A little bit, but we, yes. we like the snow. We like the snow. Now you know what I remember about your house because I was there a lot with Lauren. Yes, yes. <laughs> your mother had these little hummels. Oh, geez. <laughs> these little porcelain things. And if we touched the Hummel, your mother had a freak yes. out. Well, well, what it was, these were invaluable figurines that were made by a company that burned down in Germany. So they became very valuable. And we knew there were certain parts of the house off limits. Because of the Hummels. Because of the Hummels. <laughs> I remember and, the Hummels. And you would push the limits. I know. You I, knew I, that I know. if something <laughs> happened to one of those Hummels, yeah. something would subsequently happen to Lauren or, or uh, I would hide the Hummels. It was you? It was me. You? I would like go sneak in the room, take the Hummel, run downstairs and hide it under the ping pong table. We never just knew. To watch your mother freak out. <laughs> and you know what else? Your mother made the worst hamburgers. Well. <laughs> she never cooked them. They were like rare in the middle. Well, wait a second now. Wait a second. Now, now. Beef tartare. Now, Rosie, you were always very polite when it came to our parents. You were forthright but polite. And I'll never forget one instance when well, the, these burgers were kind of burnt on the outside and kind of raw on the inside. Yes. They and screamed salmonella. Yeah, well, they did. <laughs> but, but so as not to hurt my mom's feelings, I'll never forget one instance when we started to eat the burger bite by bite by bite, subsequently stuffing virtually the entire burger into your mouth uh -huh. so that you develop these chipmunk cheeks. That's right. I and had the entire burger there because I had a plan. And your plan was to excuse yourself to the bathroom. That's right. To, 
and pff, blow it all into the yep. toilet because yep. Yep. there was no way a human could eat that kind of <laughs> burger, Kevin. Well, she's uh, cut back on the burgers a little bit. Thank yeah. goodness. <laughs> Ruth Ann Swenson, Kevin Williams, two fabulous graduates of Comex South. Don't go away. We'll be back after this.